Well, they're trying to psych each other out as Arthur McCanny makes his announcement. This contest for the heavyweight championship of the world will be governed by the rules of the Dominican Boxing Force. There's no fear in either man. There is no fear in George Foreman. He's grown enormously in his confidence of speech and presence as well as in boxing. We're close to the start of round one. Any second now, and we may have an interesting evening. Frazier, quite understandably, the favorite. Foreman comes out, punching with the right. Frazier in his usual style. Smoking is the way he puts it. His job to get inside. His best weapon, the left hook. Foreman is vulnerable to the hook. Oh, the crowd was misled when Joe fell back a little. There was a slip off balance. Historically, Frazier has not been a good first-round fighter, but historically, he has been a tremendous, tremendous fighter. A great champion. You saw the left hook. Foreman would like to keep punching and keep Frazier away from him with his punches. Joe's job to get inside. Steadily use that left hook. Whip. Oh, Foreman connected, as you saw. He's a big, strong boy. He likens this fight to the same kind of problem he faced. There's another left by George. He's getting into Frazier's head. We'll find out tonight how much the Ali fight took out of Frazier, if anything. And we'll find out tonight just how good George Foreman is in punching and in taking a punch. I think he hurt Joe Frazier. I think Joe is hurt. Angie Dundee, Ali's trainer, right next to me is saying it. You may hear him. Down goes Frazier! Down goes Frazier! He is as poised as can be. We have a minute left in this first round. And already this fight is proving out what some have expected. Underneath Archie Moore is yelling the foreman. We've got the excitement here that we look for. Frazier is dazed. He is getting hit again and again and again. The same head that was hit so often by Muhammad Ali. Frazier is dazed. You see the countdown for the first round. Foreman has not panicked. Foreman is going about his job. Foreman is all over Joe Frazier. Frazier is down again and he may be. No, he is rising. He is game. He doesn't know where he is. Now the round is about to end. Two knockdowns in the first round of Joe Frazier. Down again. No saving by the bell. He's up, and so the fight continues. Three knockdowns in the first round by George Foreman. Now you're looking in slow motion. The right for the first knockdown. Clean as a whistle. Oh, what a first round. A slow-mo for the second knockdown. The right again. Clean as a whistle again. We're waiting for the start now of round two. There was no question about the first round. Three knockdowns. Now Joe is coming out. Adam wants to come back in a hurry. You'll not find a gamer man than Joe Frazier. Joe Frazier who went down three times in the first round. A caution from Arthur Mercani. Oh, he is all over Frazier again. He has Frazier in the corner. His, Frazier's knees buckled. He is about, he is down. He is down for the fourth time in the fight. George Foreman is doing to Joe Frazier what he did as a 19-year-old to a veteran Russian, a fellow named Iona Shapulis in October of 1968 in the Mexico City Arena. A quick left from George. Another. Frazier is down for the fifth time in this fight. Three times in the first round, twice in the second. McCanny checked his, checked his senses, checked Frazier's senses. Frazier, it's target practice for George Foreman. It is target practice. Frazier is ready to go again. Joe is standing, his, there he goes, three times. Three times, the fight is stopped. No, it is not, it is not stopped. Angie Dundee is screaming, stop it. 
Bertie Pacheco, Ali's doctor next to me. It is over, it is over. It is over in the second round. George Foreman is the heavyweight champion of the world. We're in the ring corner, as you can see, Joe Frazier's corner. George Foreman, the new heavyweight champion of the world, has just spoken to Joe.